we are on the way to check out my new dash. Once I get this done, I'm able to actually take the bike back then and strip it down. Scotty is the guy's name who's my tech and uh, he'll be yeah, having a, a look at the bike today and see if there's anything that I might require when I return with the bike to finally have the dash installed that maybe they don't have in stock today. The old girl is so heavy. So this is our, our dash here. So we've got a, a C125. So it's the same as uh, the same form factor as what'll be in your Gen 3 supercar. Yep. Shift lights along the top. For speed, we'll be using our GPS receiver here. At the moment, it's got miles per hour and kilometers, which I think the whole thing is out of whack. At the yeah. And uh, is that is that the same? That's the same as what we use in the supercar, isn't it? That yeah, one, exactly that the same yeah. unit. Yep. Perfect. Yep. So uh, 10 hertz, 10, 10 samples a second you get. Yep. We call those a race loom, uh, and so that's got all the uh, pre-made uh, terminations in it. Where would you plan on hiding some of the wiring or just shortening it right up so it's all... So we can modify these yeah. as we... So these are quite useful for a lot of customers take these and then they'll modify them to suit. Um, yeah. But it's a, it's a really good place to start. I've never understood why people's speed fluctuates so much on the highway. It's fucking insane. Now for the fun part, I get to uh, finally rip in and pull this thing apart. Uh, I'll probably start with the wheels and fuel tank, but the priority for me is actually the wheels. I gotta get those to the powder coaters as soon as possible. Uh, and then I get to pull this tank off and get it to the sign riders. Uh, that's something I'm actually really excited about. I don't know what the livery's gonna look like yet. I'm leaving that in the hands of the, uh, the designers there, but we'll be doing a, a pretty cool looking quad lock livery. I've only got three weeks to get this build done and I've got a supercar event in there as well. I head off to Perth next week. Uh, so the deadline is pretty tight on this thing to get it ready for the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. Uh, I'm excited to take on the challenge, a little bit nervous, but um, yeah, I, I can rip in now at least and start pulling this thing apart. YouTube. Turns out uh, getting the rear wheel off was a bit more of a mission than I expected. Not if you've done it before, it's actually really simple, but I didn't realize there's actually a brake line at the bottom here you have to loosen uh, just at the end of the drive shaft so that the drum brakes release the inside of the rim and you can actually get it off. I thought it'd be as easy as four bolts, but uh, anyway, got that off now, dropping the muffler down. Uh, what's next? Then I can uh, jack the bike up so I hopefully don't have to sit on the ground all day and um, yeah, get that front wheel off. So easy. <laughs> So far so good. I have managed to strip the majority of what I need off of the bike. Obviously there's still a lot staying on. Uh, engine stays in, a lot of the wiring loom stays the same as well because the MoTeC will just be plugging straight into it. Uh, the front end, I had a little bit of drums getting the forks off. I actually I couldn't undo the triple clamp. So I ended up pulling the grinder out just to save time. I don't need those triple clamps again. So I hacked that off. At the back end here, I'm not gonna be leaving that silver. I will be sanding that, uh, removing any uh, oil residue, painting that black so that it matches the wheels. I'm gonna be getting those powder coated. They're away at the moment. So hopefully I get those back very soon. So next I'm gonna rip the battery out and I'm planning on tidying up the rear. So I'll put in some, I'll mask up the back here so that I can paint. So first of all, I've got to sand this back. Uh, I'm gonna hack off these uh, extension rails on the back here because I'm not gonna be running the pillion seat anymore, so they won't be needed. So I'll tidy that up. Slide straight out of the cradle. Man. Having pulled the battery out now, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really hoping the new cradle arrives. It looks so much better. With the battery removed from the top there, and if I can reposition it underneath the engine, we'll look so much better. Um, but I do know that I've checked the tracking order and it looks like the cradle and battery and everything is still sitting in Germany. Um, so I hope it arrives soon. Uh, otherwise, this old girl's gonna be going straight back in there. <laughs> but it definitely needs a clean up because everything you touch at the moment on this bike is, is just filthy. I'm gonna go to this side of the holes and that way it's easy as well to match it to the other side. 
because I'll do the exact same thing on both sides. And then I'll just file it. I'll probably cut the top at a little bit of an angle. And then I'll just file it back. Best thing is you can't look at both these sides at the same time. So if I screw it up, no one will ever know. All right, I didn't bother covering it because it's the boring part, but I've uh, masked up the back of the engine. I'm gonna start with just a real small patch, these bits that I cut off. Um, I'm just gonna give it a spray and see how, how it comes out before I uh, go nuts and totally ruin everything. I've got a basic acrylic lacquer paint. Hopefully that does the trick and I don't need a primer. So like any uh, resto projects, um, I've probably got a little bit carried away. I was planning on today just getting these tabs done, but I've decided to spray the back and it's come up better than I expected actually. I think that looks great. And the little bit I've done on the chassis rails with the paint as well looks real nice, but it's highlighted the fact that the front end doesn't look great. So I've kept masking away. I've now covered the entire chassis. I've sanded back the front chassis rails and I will be painting that as well. So I don't know where it ends. Every time I paint a little bit, it highlights that the next bit needs doing, but I'm sure it'll be worth it at the end. It's all the, the little one percenters I think that'll make it look cool when it's done, uh, if I get it done. <laughs>